Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's me, RP, and I'm back in Supermarket Simulator. So let's get going. I've been doing some grinding. I've been doing some bank loans. I have been expanding the store on its products. I have overflow products over here. I'm going and using a cashier right now, and we are up to the point where we're going to add a stalker. But I think what I want to do is I want to wait until I get rid of all of this stock right here. So I'm just going to play stalker while that guy takes care of the register for me and uh, then at the end of this day I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hire a, a stock boy I've gone ahead and been working my little butt off here I've got uh, a stock boy ready to go here I've taken care of my bills uh, I'm using uh, bank loans in order to progress in the game I've got a new bank loan going here basically what I'm doing guys is I'm just expanding a little bit getting a loan it costs $2,000 to do the floor, and I still have some uh, floor left over. I bought uh, 10 boxes, and that completed that floor for me. So I have a nice new floor. I should probably close this. Let me do that. Put this back down. Yeah, I'm going to leave that right there. And uh, let me turn the lights on here. It's already 6 o'clock at night. Holy cow. Let me see if I can get rid of some of this stock here. Because what I want to do is, like I said, the next day... I want to be able to hire stock boy and start start managing the store now so now when i'm grinding away off camera i'll have a uh, a cashier and a stalker to help me and i'll just be able to uh buy stock keep the uh store running in that respect kind of hope i can get rid of all of this stock before i get a uh stalker in here i don't think i don't think they'd pick up any of these uh goods that are in a box uh, we'll have to see we'll wait and see Right now, we'll just take care of things. Uh, if we hear any complaints, maybe I should open this up and uh, do some register work just in case we get behind here. Hope everybody's having a good day, and uh, thanks again so much for the uh, love and support you're giving me. And uh, if you want to continue to help this uh, senior citizen on his way to YouTube glory, just don't forget, hit the like button, maybe drop a comment. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to hang out with us in the Discord, Got a nice little Discord channel. A lot of friendly people in there that enjoy simulation gaming and gaming in general. So, there you go. 55 and 70 for this young man. Thank you, sir. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the uh, game now with the, uh, with the new uh, update that allows us to do cosmetics and uh, uh, just get a little bit uh, uh, more creative with our stores. And uh, what I, I'm trying to think of a wall color. I'm not sure what wall color I want. Maybe if you guys got a suggestion for this uh, black floor with the uh, orange casing, you know, the shelving and, uh, and, you know, just the overall orange theme here. And this is the closest i could get to orange it's it's more of a of a of a peachy tone than it is orange it looks more orange in the uh menu uh but anyway uh yeah if you got an idea for a wall color please uh drop a comment let me know i'd be interested to uh to hear what kind of uh idea you have all right there goes the last customer of the day that's the end of the day we got 29 customers we made 931 dollars but you know i've been spending a lot of money all right, so let's go ahead and take care of our prices real quick. All right, the first one we want to get is our orange juice. I'm going to round that up to 40. That way we don't have to deal with the penny. All right, next up is our cereal section, and we need to get the crispy chibis repriced. I believe the price went down on these. They did. All right, so we're going to bring this down to $5.35. All right, next up is the De Niro pizza. Let's go ahead and change the price here. It's going down to four twenty-five. Is what I'm going to bring it down to four twenty-five. All right, next up is the Faradine flour. So let's just go ahead and change the price on that, and that's going down to six oh five. Big sale on that flour. All right, I want to try to get rid of as much of this stock as I can, and then we're going to go ahead and hire our first stalker. All right, I still have a little bit of overflow left over. I'm just going to let it hang here. We're going to go ahead and hire our uh, stock employee. I'm going to let him get to work here. And probably as he empties out some of the stuff, I'll probably just come back here and replace it with that overflow stock. So let's go to management. Let's pay our bill. Let's go to the bank. Let's pay uh, our loan payments. Let's 
go back and go to management and we need to get hiring and let's go ahead and hire our first stalker we're on our way there you go welcome welcome to the welcome to the uh grind my friend right now uh what i'm going to be trying to do is to do my best to stay on top of this system that i've got going here i've got a place for everything and everything in its place so as long as uh that does not uh, change i did see one tag that does need to be removed now that the stalker's involved that one right there we've got fries here this will be for chicken and uh yeah all right so let me open up the store and so also these guys are now able to fetch stuff off the street uh i'm looking pretty good on stock right now so uh maybe we'll order a little bit of stock when the time comes it looks like i've got another cashier guy coming here doesn't it take a look here is he coming to shop or is he coming to to work what's he up to ah he's coming to uh to buy i swear to god i thought that guy was was coming up coming coming for a job he was going to ask for a uh, application all right i did change the color of the sign so that it, it it is what i want it to be i have a customer waiting for me let me get over here real quick how you doing sir take that off your hands thank you so much so i'm going to still continue to run a register so that i continue to gain the experience necessary in order to hire more cashiers because uh, it's based on not only your level but how many times you've rung a customer out and uh yeah so we'll, we'll keep on top of it but uh unless they're actually asking for me i can kind of go around and keep an eye on on things here yeah so i'm looking for uh like i said i'm looking for a wall color guys so oh i can get rid of two salts let's do that very good i'll help this guy out there we go that takes care of that because i want to try to achieve a nice smooth operation here now that i've you know restarted the game since the new update came out and i want to make sure that uh, uh that the this build uh that that it runs smoothly and uh like i said uh i don't think there's any way you can not expand without loan after loan after loan I've still got some flooring left over. That's good. I think I can put this flooring on a sh on a on a shelf here. Can I? No, I guess I can't. Can I put it right there? Nope. You cannot store that in the racks. Only food. Just wanted to check that out. See if that was a thing. I guess it's not. All right. Let me keep up with what's going on here. Can I get rid of this one soda? Oh, I've got people at my register. Hold on, folks. I'll be right with you. Wow, why is everybody at my register and not his register? What's going on here? You guys like me the best. That's awesome. Well, thank goodness I have superior register skills. I can handle this without any problem at all. I'm really looking forward to this game becoming the game that it is supposed to be. Uh, you know, a, a full development of it. Look at that. No change. I'm loving it. This guy's got cash, $1.75. Keeping everything rounded. Making it easy and fast to get customers on their way. There we go. I can close this register. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then probably reopen it later on. Oop, that's the wrong amount of money. Let me get a decimal point in there. There we go. There. That sends her over to the next register. And we can go ahead. Oh, he's working. You know, I was uh, getting paranoid that I was going to have to... Uh, supply the shelves i forgot we have a we have a worker how are we doing on candy here? can i help you out there we go we can get rid of that just want to try to get rid of some of the miscellaneous 
keep things going here. I think I have some more. What is this? Peanut butter. See how we're fixed for some soda. And we still have uh, still have a little ways to go with that, but that's not bad. How about the pizza? Get rid of a couple of pizzas. Let's take a look at our storage. Make sure our stock is uh, hanging on here. It looks like we're going to be doing a potato order, and this is going to be interesting uh, to see if he puts the potatoes where they're supposed to go. Because right now, I'm pretty comfortable with the way the tags are set up, and I hope that it stays this way. Basically, I just hope he keeps everything like this. So I think if only I order two, then he'll put the two right there. I think that's going to be the, uh, the key, is not to over-order as well. So let's let this night go through. Let me uh, get on my register here real quick. Help out some of the customers. We'll get this day ended. Uh, we'll order up some uh, some stock and we'll see how he does on uh, on putting stock away. See how this new update works. How you doing there, my friend? Take care of that for you right now. There you go. How are you, ma'am? That'll be cash, okay. Dollar seventy will be your change. There you go. Have a good night. Hope you were able to find everything, and uh, uh, hope you uh, enjoy the the very low prices here at RP Market. o'clock finishing off the last of our customers here yeah the next goal is is to grind with this crew that i have right here and try to get uh some more money for uh expansion that's uh that's what i'm looking uh to do uh via profit and loan however it well you know whatever i got to do to get there is basically how i'm playing this uh playthrough all right, that takes care of everybody. Let's go ahead and end the day. All right, we had 38 customers, an income of 1273.60. Our rent, our bills was taken out. We've got a balance of $7,000. We're doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and start the next day. All right, clean dishwater tablets went down in price. Those are right over here. We'll just go ahead and fix that before we start the day. $19.35 is how I'm gonna go with that. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's order up the, uh, the missing items per, uh, shelving unit. So it looks like I'm in the need of, um, three potatoes. So let's, let's go ahead and get that. This is going to be interesting. I hope he, uh, I hope he keeps my products nice and neat. So I need to get him three potatoes and then that's what we're going to do. We're going to check all of our stock area. And that's how we're going to uh, order. So there's three potatoes in the basket. And he has not brought any back. That's the one thing we got to make sure he doesn't do. What do we have here? Where we could get a couple of cereals. Let's go ahead and order a couple of cereals. All right. I need one, uh, one bleach. All right. Looks like I'm totally out of toilet paper. So let's go ahead and add four toilet paper to the mix. We've got six. So that'll be a nice first buy for 396. Let's go ahead and purchase that. Let's go ahead and see how he does. All right, right now he's refilling everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him do his thing. Once he's done filling all the empty shelves, we'll go ahead and see if he takes any of that stock off of the uh, sidewalk and puts it away where it's supposed to go.
our man has finished stocking the shelves. Now he's putting everything away. And it looks like he is putting it where it's supposed to go. He did grab the two boxes that I had on the floor and he threw them up here. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that once he's done. And um, see if I can get rid of that. I did not want him to do that. I figured he, he might do something like that where he might take an open spot and decide to clean up the store, and he did. All right, so as long as everything he's putting away now is what he's supposed to be doing, and it looks like he is. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is looking good. I'm real happy with this. Look at that. Look at that. Right where it's supposed to go. Thank you so much, my man. Got a couple more over here. You go ahead and take that. See how he does with this one. This should be, what is this here? That was, uh, that was bleach. He just walked right through the wall. All right, awesome. Uh, that's another toilet paper. Excellent. I think that's a toilet paper as well. I'm not mistaken. Is that a toilet paper? I believe it is. All right. He uh, he absolutely did a fantastic job. He stocked the whole store. He then went and cleaned up everything. <clears throat> uh, like I said, uh, I think what I'm going to do here is um, uh, once we get going, once the store opens up and he gets busy, I'm going to go ahead and remove that stuff. So let's go ahead and open up the store. And uh, see what kind of day we have. And uh, thank you so much, man. That was uh, awesome. You did everything right. The only thing I need to do now is, let me see, how many of these guys can I afford? I did find some spots that are empty. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. And uh, to keep him busy. So now is when I go ahead and I take a look at what I'm down and where I need to add. So there you go. He's taking care of that uh, stacked milk already, which is awesome. Very good. All right. Make sure that's going in the right place. All right. I believe that's up there. Where? Yep, it's up there. Very good. Two of those. He filled that up. All right. I got a customer. Go ahead and take care of this customer real quick. Yeah, so the AI is working well. Uh, so at this point for myself, all I need to do is uh, is I need more more people. That'll, that'll make it a little bit faster. Because uh, that did take in quite a while. Stock every single shelf like that. So, yep, let's see. $63, 50, 60, 1, 2, and 3, and 75. And there you go. All right, close that register. That way I can go ahead and check out my stock situation here. And uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like we're doing well. I don't think we need to re-up on any stock just yet. Maybe, uh, maybe a couple of chickens here. And it looks like uh, french fries. So I think I'm going to go ahead and we'll go to the market. At least the chickens. I think we can hold off on the french fries. But the chickens are kind of big. So let's go ahead and order up some chickens. Uh, hopefully he'll put those where they're supposed to go. All right, he's already uh, taking care of the potatoes. I'm going to leave those chickens there. I want to make sure he puts them where they're supposed to go. Getting a little bit of a line here. Let me kind of help open things up here, get rid of some of these customers real quick. All right, let me help you out here, ma'am. Let me get you through the store. Hope you found everything uh, that you needed. Go ahead and ring you out. How you doing, sir? All right, I want to check real quick. All right, he still has not taken these boxes in yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him do his thing. I just want to test everything out, make sure that those get put where they're supposed to go. I think he's a little busy right now. He might have to do that after work. All right, $63, two and three, five cents. 
right, thank you so much. Let me see what you have here, my friend. Four dollars and sixty-five cents. enjoying the way the store is running right now I can tell you that much all right so as we wind down the day we'll uh, get rid of these customers tally up the profits uh, see how we did uh, hopefully we uh, did well that we, we did not disappoint anybody and everybody found what they were looking for because I believe I have enough stock uh, and like I said, we, we, we've just been buying now. Now, you know, gone ahead like and got myself in a position to where I'm stocked. Plus, I have stock uh, on the shelves and stock in the back room. So, I think that's making things a little bit easier for the stalker. Uh, you know, getting it set up that way before I went and actually hired a stalker. So... That's how I'm feeling right now. You guys let me know how you feel. Tell me how you guys are um, uh, playing, how you guys uh, are enjoying this. I really am interested. I'd love to hear, uh, you know, any suggestions that you might have. And like I said, I, I need to pick a wall color. So let's see if we can help me out. Drop a comment. This is the theme I'm going with. We're going to go with the black floor. I like it because uh, the white floor is a little too bright. The black floor... Uh, serves well under these lights and it looks nice but I, I want to get a different uh, color for the wall that'll match and uh, complement the color of the uh, shelving and everything all right that should be the last of our customers let's go ahead and end the day we got 38 customers, 100% satisfaction, and uh, we've got a nice income. We're doing very well, folks. We're doing very well. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's take care of our prices. All right, first up, we got to take care of shampoo. Shampoo's gone down in price. I'm going to round it to 75, and that takes care of the shampoo. We need to make adjustments on this flower, so let's go ahead and take care of that. This is coming down to 320. Go ahead and bring that down to 320. Okay, we got to adjust our eight pack of eggs now. That's going down to 340. All right, we're we're taking a hit. We're we're running some sales here. We did not increase prices. We only lowered prices. That's never a good thing. <laughs> But let's go ahead and turn on our lights here real quick and let's see how our stalker is doing. Uh, he's just working right, al right along here, folks. I'll tell you, I am so, so happy. All right, it looks like we are out of potatoes. Let's go ahead and make sure that all the potatoes are put up before we go ahead and order them. Looks like, yeah, we're missing one and we are out of them. So we're going to have to go ahead and make a potato buy. All right, it looks like I'm down a little bit of chicken, so let's go ahead and uh, get four chickens. All right, he's going to use what he needs, and he's going to go ahead and he's going to put the rest away. Let's go ahead and make sure that he does that. Potatoes should go right here. Okay, I'm going to let him go ahead and take care of the store, let it get all stocked up. And at this point, it looks like uh, what I need to do is expand. I need to get uh, the stalker. I need to get more stalkers. Uh, me and my, uh, my colleague here can handle the cash register, but I think another stalker would help the day go by faster uh, to restock. He's taking uh, quite a bit of time to restock everything. So I'm going to go ahead and let him do that. It's working perfectly. I'm really happy with... Uh, with how the game uh, is developing and i can't wait to see more updates on the game uh, thank you so much as always guys for joining me and if you uh, continue to want to support the channel like i said and help this old man reach his youtube goal of uh, 3,000 subscribers please don't forget hit the subscribe and like button and i will catch you guys in my next supermarket simulator episode when we're ready to expand and add more products take care guys ta-ta and bye-bye